Hello guys, we are here at the closed Kmart here in Walnut Port, PA. This is the revisit of the place. Uh, not much has changed. The signage is taken down still, I think as far as I remember when I first came here. But the soda machine is not here. <laughs> I think it was like a Pepsi soda machine there, but it's no longer there. There was like a blue vending machine there. They took it out. And the Kmart sign is still here. There's also some trucks here. I don't know. They're probably doing work around here. There's nobody here. This big parking lot. And this was a, like a big Kmart too. This probably came here like in the 90s, I'm thinking. I just wanted to show you the uh, Kmart signage. Another closed Kmart, sad to see this, man. There we see the Kmart sign right there. They painted the K uh, black, they blacked it out, so I can't see anything. There's a St. Luke's little uh, medical center over here too, right next to this uh, abandoned Kmart. I think I haven't been here in like two years, so I don't think much has changed with this place. There are some other like vehicles in the back over there. So I don't know if I'm gonna head to the back or not. Let's check this out real quick. It is so hot outside. The humidity levels lately. I live in New Jersey, so I mean, it's the weather's pretty weird here. I know some other states have weird weather too, <laughs> but um, what was it? Yesterday was raining and then it was sunny. And oh my god, I knew this summer was gonna be so hot, but like, holy crap. There we see the label scar of once the sign used to be here. I think this Kmart closed like in 2017 or maybe 2018 or 2019, I forgot. Authorized vehicles only, SVN. Property to be gated the week of May 16. Well, that sign's probably been there for a couple of years, I'm thinking. Can't really see much because of these double doors in the way, of course. Yeah, I can't really see a whole lot inside. I think some lights are on inside too as well. I don't know if there's people working in there. Yeah, I'm not sure. I see a truck moving in the parking lot. Yeah, I can't read. Really, I think I see some pallets inside there. You see that? It looks like some pallets are inside the building. So this could turn into something else in the near future. I see some other pallets inside there too. On this side over here, if you guys can see that. Huh. 400 North Best Ave. Lonely Gatorade bottle. We're heading towards the uh, pharmacy window and the garden center right now. And they also had an auto center as well. Man, I was like walking outside a couple days ago and I only walked for 30 minutes. It was just too damn hot outside. <laughs> I was sweating like crazy. So I was like, forget about this. They had one of their doors here, no door handles. Protected premises by security service company. I don't know what kind of service company that is.
Here you see, it says walk up pharmacy. If you guys can see that. So you can, I guess, literally walk up here. Oh, wow, there's a, whoa. Look at those uh, homes. <laughs> Big. There's a beer on the window. I don't want to get stung. So the the prescriptions got transferred to Walnut Walnut Port PA in the Rite Aid. Here's when you, I guess when you hit that bell over there, somebody comes to help you, and then uh, help you with the prescription that you had. Uh, I'm getting out of here. I hear bees or wasps around here. So. I keep seeing bees. They're either wasps or hornets. <laughs> yeah, so I don't want to get stung. God, it's so hot. Is it had the uh, garden center over here? Yeah, they're doing something in here. The hell? Huh. What that? Yeah, so there's some lights on and some, like, uh, shelving or whatever that's there. Huh. I think, like, this company is using the place, whatever it is. Yeah, there's some cars back there, so I'm not going to head to the back, guys. I think uh, there are people working in there, so I'm not going to take the chance. Just gonna head to this other side of the building right now. I don't want to be questioned or whatever, so <laughs> so let's head to the other side, guys. Yeah. So once again, guys, I'm at the revisit of the abandoned Kmart here in Walnutport, PA. It took me about an hour and some change to come here. Probably like an hour and fifteen or twenty minutes. So sad seeing. A big Kmart like this close. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe in the future Kmart will come back to life if a uh, new ownership takes charge of the place. But I don't know. I think right now there's still uh, there's only like three Kmart's left to open in the United States. I know there's one open in Miami, Florida. One in Westwood, New Jersey, I think in Bergen County. And then there's also one in Bridgehampton, New York, in Long Island. That's close to Montauk, New York. And my birthday is this month, guys, July 21. Another one of their doors they had here. No door handle. Some overgrown plants here. Some parking. Coming back here is a bit, a little bit creepy because it's just like wooded area. Yeah, I'm thinking, I know there's a, uh, there's an Excel sheet on online, the Kmart Excel sheet. You can tell, like, you can see when the Kmarts opened up and closed all around the United States. There were so many Kmarts that were open back in the day. Some of them even closed early, like in the 90s. And then some, like, in the 2000s, and then some of them just recently, like this one. I think this, I forgot when this one closed down. Possibly in 2019 or 18. Looks like they had a little gate here at some point. You can tell because the doorbell is right there. Huh. I'm not going to ring it because, like I said, I think there's people working in there. Just going to check the back here real quick and I'll be out of here. Hopefully nobody's back here.
At least maybe I could show you the shipping receiving area right here. So they had two docks here. Hmm. Everything still remains the same, looks like. Except like, like I told you that soda machine, the soda vending machine is no longer there in front of the store. Oh, man. I just wanna see this sign right here. I just wanna see what it says. It looks really old. Wow, uh, yeah, I can't read it at all. <laughs> must have said something. Must have said something back in the day. But just looking at this sign, it looks like it's been here ever since this Kmart was here. It's probably since the '90s. That's crazy. I have no idea. No idea what it said before, but that was something interesting to see. Uh, look at this big store. Something's got to come, come here. Either that or they're going to demolish it, sadly. But not for now. I mean, there's... I don't know what that other side of the building is used for. I have no idea. If you guys know the area well, you probably live in Walnut Port, PA. Or you've uh, came here after the store was closed and seen what the people were doing to, this, uh, to the store. After they close, this uh, comment below. I would gonna I would like to hear your opinion on this place, and if you ever shopped in this Kmart back in the day too. Yeah, I haven't been here here in two years, but doesn't look much as much as uh, change with this place. Here they had a uh, handicap parking. Yeah, the soda machine was like right here. <laughs> it was like over here somewhere. I'm thinking it was right here because the cap is taken off of it. So it must have been like right here. Wow. Oh, I just saw another truck go by there. All right, guys, that does it for this revisit of this abandoned Kmart here in Walnut Port, PA. I'm signing out of here. I hope in the future this place turns into something else. So there's my car, and I will see you on the next one. Peace out. Bye-bye.